YouTube, what's good? It's your boy B here, man, and bring y'all this video. Today is a day for all my ledger people out there. July 9th, I'm gonna call this ledger day. So, for those of you who've been using the ledger devices, you all know, including myself, we had to rely on Google Chrome. Chrome, we had to download these little Chrome applications to update our ledger devices, to install applications on our devices. Today is a day we depart from that. It's name that baby be separating ourselves from the bullshit you dig. I'm joking, but no, we don't gotta use these apps no more. So, exciting times. Ledger Live. This is the desktop application that we can use with our Ledger devices now, and it's finally here. Let's get started. So, first and foremost, go to www.ledgerwallet.com. Click on Ledger Live. Now, if you're not using like a Windows or Mac, P, uh, Mac, you can actually download for another platform and you get other options such as Linux and Source. But I have a Mac, so I'm gonna hit download. And it takes real quick. So we're gonna go through that process. We're gonna open that up real quick. And we ready to get it popping. So I'm going to show you guys every step by step that I have to do. Hold on one second. I'm going to minimize that. Let's bring this over. I'm going to put this in my applications folder. All right. Now, let's get started. So, now that we got everything downloaded, let's get it popping. Yo, Ledger, if you guys get a chance to watch this video, thank you for the blessing. You guys get an A++. And I ain't even start the application yet. Let's get started. So we hit get started. So we got some options. Um, we got initialize a new ledger device, restore a ledger device, use a device that's already initialized and do not have a ledger device yet. And I'm quite sure if we hit this, we're gonna test it and it's gonna, you know, pretty much oh give you option check track your order too. That's dope. Say so goodbye, it'll probably redirect you or whatever. But um, we're not gonna do that right now for video purposes. So I already have my ledger device. Um, I got two of them actually. I think this is the one I wanted to use for the video. Um, so let's go here. Now, you're greeted with a Ledger Nano S or Ledger Blue. I have a Ledger Nano S, so we're gonna select that. Okay, security checklist. Before continuing, please complete the security checklist. Did you choose your pin code by yourself? Absolutely. And the reason why I'm quite sure they said it is because there's been cases in the past where people have purchased ledger devices that the seller or whoever sold them, you know, the actual device had like a pre-populated code inside of the box where they like some instances where they were scratching stuff off and it revealed the code. You don't want to do that. Every code that you get, um, every, um, excuse me, this is a pin call. I'm, so I'm talking about the key phrase, but every ledger you get, all the key phrases, uh, paraphrases are generated from the device. If you got a scratch off in that box, don't use it. Re redo that. I wouldn't even redo the device. I, I would probably just send it back if you had that option. But um, did you save your recovery phrase by yourself? I did. And is your ledger device genuine? So this is pretty cool. All right. So let's connect my device. I'm gonna put my code in. Okay. Navigate to the dashboard in your device, allow ledger manager on your device. So we're gonna get like a little screen. I don't know if you guys can see that. It says allow ledger manager. We wanna hit the check and we should be good. My device is genuine, baby. You already know. Password. Uh, I highly recommend you guys do this, but for video purposes, I'm not going to do this. And pretty much it says set a password to prevent unauthorized access to Ledger Live data stored on your computer, including account names, balances, transactions, and public addresses. I highly recommend you guys do this. Um, just because, you know, it's you will have this information saved locally on your machine. I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to go back and do it for video purposes. And it's pretty much, you know, sharing honest usage, data, help improve less devices and stuff like that. I normally don't do this, but for the video's sake, I'll just keep it on. 
Let's get it popping, baby. We here now. Open Legend Live. Let's go. Uh oh. So I gotta get some breakfast in. Okay, trade safely. Before sending and receiving crypto assets, educate yourself to make informed decisions. Crypto assets are volatile and the price can go up and down. Carefully evaluate your trading goals and the financial risk you're willing to take. Please be aware that Ledger does not provide financial tax or legal advice. You should take such decisions on your own and consult with reliable experts. Got it. Now, we agree with the screen. We got the portfolio, the manager, and the exchanges. So, portfolio is the screen we're on now. The actual manager, you open that, it's gonna be the same as you clicking on manager. And this is pretty much just like the actual application, um, the Chrome applications where we're gonna install or remove actual applications on the ledger device itself so we're going to keep that in mind so if you guys want to add um and in this case i'm going to have to uh well something separate this is for the applications on the actual device um and as you can see they got quite a few and i believe uh ledger put something out where they indicated that they want to at least have a hundred over a hundred crypto different cryptocurrencies on the device supported so exchanges Coin house, coin house is just platform. We're gonna get through all that. These are you know exchange they they selected for us, the recommendations. So we're gonna get into all that. So the interesting piece, we're gonna add accounts. So right here, we're gonna drop down, we're gonna do Bitcoin and continue. Follow us below to add Bitcoin accounts from your ledger device. Now, connect and unlock your ledger device, open a Bitcoin app on your device. So that's interesting because any account that we want to add into Ledger Live, we want to make sure we have the application installed physically um, on our device. So I do have a Bitcoin. We're going to select that, open that wallet up. Okay. Accounts. Like I said, this is my my uh, other, I don't think I have any Bitcoin on this one. Now nah, this one should be a clean slate right here. I do remember doing some testing on this one, I believe, but I was showing like a family member how easy it was. So we're gonna add that account. Oh, you got a, a second account too, that's pretty cool. Do that. Hit close. So, boom, click on it. Oh, all right, I do have the one transaction on here. Yeah, I was uh, showing the family member about this. Last operations, okay. You got a week, month, and year view. Okay, that's cool. You got, oh. Send receive options. If you want to send, of course, you guys know we can do that. We can pretty much just um, and copy and paste the address in here. How much uh, how much Bitcoin we want to send, and it tells you what's that the USD equivalent and the network fees. All right, and it gives you the actual price per whatever way you choose to go through that. And you pretty much go through the process. I'm not gonna do a transaction for this video, but receive. If you want to send your boy some Bitcoin, holla at your boy. About to show y'all this address real quick. So now it's still got a security feature where you gotta add or excuse me, match up um, the device on that's on the screen all the way into the device that's actually on the device. Um, all the way to the address that's actually on the device. Verify the address on your device for optimal security. Press the right button to confirm. So I want to confirm because it does match. And, and it allows you to copy the address. So if you like to send your boy some Bitcoin, here's the address. Duh, <laughs> I'm an asshole. All right, so that's the send and receive function. Now I'm gonna add a couple other uh, and you got any one of the coins that they support. So we'll add, I ain't gonna do light coins. I think I do have some light coin on here. Let's do Ethereum. I know I got no Ethereum on here. Now I do have the Ethereum wallet on here. So always make sure you, when you're done and you're gonna add another account, if you're inside another account, like for say another wallet, we'll say Bitcoin on a device, you wanna make sure you quit that. Cause then you got to go over and select Ethereum we're going to open that up and continue. And I'm just going to name it Ethereum. I'm not going to do the Ethereum one thing if it prompts me and things like that. So we'll do that. We're going 
check that off. Holla at your boy. Zah. And let's do, uh, let's do Zcash. All right. Let me close. I'm going to quit that app. Okay. We'll continue. It is pretty cool where you can, you know, look like you can add other accounts. So that's all. So I know I don't have any Ethereum here. So oh, as you can see, make sure Ethereum app is installed and start receiving. Let's see. <clears throat> Should already be open. Oh wait, I was on Zcash. Let's go back to Ethereum. Okay. Let's look at that. Now, if you like to send your boy some Ethereum, there's the address. So, that shit is funny. But, so as you guys can see, this is the Ledger Live. I just wanted to bring you guys a quick video real quick. And of course, according to the account that you're in, uh, well, once you start receiving, then you'll get the option to do send and receive like right here. Um, if you go to this, the little edit, you can name the account choose the uh, unit the old school BTC or the regular BTC and that's something for the developers and let's go to the settings you got general counter values that's if you want to change your if you're not US dollar you know you can change your your, your coin of choice there or your currency of choice um, rate provider all right, and these are all the exchanges you can get, like, real-time rates, system language, mine is English. I'm going to go back and do that. Buzz, analytics, currencies. Um, all right, number of confirm confirmations. For China, to be marked. Oh, so, oh, shit, you can actually physically change this? That's dope. So after two network confirmations, the... Um, It'll be confirmed that the uh, transaction took place. And this is pretty much about. And um, quite sure help. And cool. So there you guys have it. That's the actual new Ledger Live desktop application for the Ledger. All my Ledger users out there, holla at your boy. So I just want to bring out this quick video. Please like and subscribe. Be a part of the crew. Holla at your boy. Um, I'll check y'all later, man. Peace.